Hello folks, this is Brandon Bailey, and I'm coming at you with another um, uh, harp boxing instructional video, this time covering this wonderful composition by Son of Dave called Leave Without Running. Uh, I believe it's from his album O2, and uh, it's a great example of combining solo harmonica with uh, rhythmic elements involving looping and beatboxing. So, uh, to start off, I will play a bit of Leave Without Running just to give you the general idea of it. Uh, let's see. Step out. Every night. Step out. From the fight. Who me? Not I. Who me? Not trying. <laughs> Step out. Every night. Hands off. She mine. I know. She fine. Outside. <laughs> you better leave that running out. You better leave that running out. You better leave that running out. <laughs> Get your motor running. You better leave that running out. So that's the general intro to Leave Without Running. So um, this is a slightly more difficult song than Hellhound, um, yet it involves the same basic beatboxing and rhythmic principles. You're still using your three basic sounds. You're using your kick drum, your snare, and your hi-hat, just in slightly different variations. So the song begins uh, on the four draw bent. Uh, so you're leading out of the four draw bent with a blow chord, or just like uh, as he did in Hellhound, um, a snare sound into a blow chord. You're blowing into holes two, three, and four um, while doing a snare sound. So you're just allowing air to pass through the harmonica very simply. using that snare sound. So, uh, four draw bend into that snare sound blow chord. So, so after you're doing the snare sound, you're uh, breathing back in and you're doing a uh, three draw bend down. So basically the blue third. And you're following that with a two draw bend. So three draw, four draw bend into a blow chord using the snare sound into the blue third into your note of resolution, the two draw bend. Now you're going to go back up to the blue third, the three draw bent. Then you're going to do a four blow. So that's this simple, basic, very first few notes. Then you're going to do a one, two, three, or one, two, three, four uh, draw chord. Doing that kind of wada dada sound that I was showing last time.
and or uh, you can while you're doing that intersperse a little focus into the two draw band so it's more like kind of opening and closing your lips into that uh, two draw band so starting with the open chord then closing your lips slightly to just play the two draw band so so far Now you're going back up to the blue third. Then four blue. Then back down to the blue third. Following into that same pattern of starting out with one, two, three, four draw chord and closing your lips rhythmically doing the note of resolution, the two hold draw. So, so far we have. So faster, so following into the more vocal section of the song, uh, you're basically doing slight variations to that. Step out. Just, you're continuing to do the very first few notes. The without doing the draw chord. So you're just interspersing that with the vocals. Step out. Every knot. Hands off. G mine. That kind of thing. So at uh, one of the changes in the songs during the vocals you're going to start doing um, these uh, one four blow octaves while uh, using your tongue to add embellishments. So what I'm simply doing there, I'm starting off with the simple one for octave. I'm using my tongue to block off holes two and three while I play holes one and four out of the side of my mouth. And I'm simply lifting my tongue off and on. While at the same time, forcing air slightly through my teeth. Um, so I'm actually interspersing a little of my tongue um, at the back of my mouth. Uh, sort of a simplified snare sound. While using the tip of my tongue to add more embellishment. So... And at the end, <laughs> I'm slightly coughing into the harmonica, adding these short bursts of air in through the reeds. <laughs> so that gives you the basic framework for the entire introduction to the song. <laughs> so there's a little change in there from rather than doing to doing and simply what you're doing is um, you're doing a um, 3 6 octave um, following into the same simple pattern of notes. So rather than starting on the 4 draw band, you're starting on the 3 6 octave. My tongue is blocking off holes 4 and 5 while I play the same notes, the 3 and the 6, through the sides of my mouth. <laughs> so 
So that's the basic framework for playing Leave Without Running. And of course, as I said last time, start off slow. You're using a lot of in and out breaths here. You don't want to become dizzy and lightheaded and faint or anything. So simply, it's a very good exercise for practicing heart boxing. And always practice rhythmically. Uh, have some kind of beat going with your hand or with your foot. And try as much as possible to actually play the music in time. Uh, pretty much every single Son of Dave song is based in groove and rhythm. And if you're not playing in groove and rhythm, you're not playing the songs properly. And much beatboxing beat is all about playing with rhythm. So, very important concept. for this time and I'll be back with another video very soon. Take care.